Hello artists, Thomas here and welcome to my first ever gallery tour slash thoughts or whatever video. I'm going to start heading out to more shows from now on so I'm looking forward to making more of these. But a quick announcement before I kind of go into my gallery footage. Um, I did a podcast with a Canadian graduate called Afifa, so talking about art and stuff. So if you're interested in listening to that or you like listening to podcasts, then the link will be in the description below. And with that, obviously from the title, you know that this is going to be my footage from the Royal Drawing School Drawing Year Postgraduate Exhibition at their Shoreditch campus. So let it roll. So for anyone who doesn't know, the Royal Drawing School Shoreditch campus is located on Charlotte Street, which is about a 10 minute walk from Liverpool Street Station in London. The show actually began with what was probably my favourite piece of the exhibition, a gloomy road with colourful trees depicted at night. For anyone wanting to go through the artworks and follow any of the artists, I'll leave links in the description to the Royal Drawing School site where you can take a look at everything. One of the first things you'll notice walking in is the show is very well put together with many works presented in simple black frames which look great but unfortunately the reflective surface makes it difficult to film the works. This kind of uh, setup reminded me of the busy layout of the Royal Academy summer show in particular. I realized a common medium amongst the students was the use of what seemed to be oil pastels or some form of pastel. I guess pastels fit the context of a drawing medium yet obviously allowing the use of color and an interesting build-up of texture. When I was applying for the postgraduate course, I didn't even think of using pastels, and thinking back now, I feel like the finish they create is actually quite painterly, so I might consider using them in the future. A lot of the work presented seemed to depict interiors or personal spaces, uh, which I assumed were probably a result of the lockdowns, which um, I guess limited the environments the students had to work from. So they ended up either drawing from their homes or scenes peering out of their windows. The largest work was a very bold and colourful pastel work that seemed very symbolic to me. In this particular piece I liked the build up of colour and just how saturated it was. Um, it definitely stood out colour wise. As I said earlier, there were quite a few pieces of work depicting scenery looking through a window, but some of them to me appeared quite dreamlike or imaginary, the artist possibly creating their own world to look out to. I really liked this work here, not particularly for the subjects or the composition, but because I absolutely love a pink and blue color scheme. I feel like any work that has a juicy pink and blue color scheme goes in my good books.
Towards the exit, there were also some larger chalky ghost-like drawings that had quite a cozy atmosphere. It was also interesting to see that quite a few of the drawings almost seemed quite fun to me. I guess sometimes going into a show, I guess, I don't know, this might be me, but you expect mostly serious works and themes, but that wasn't the case here. Finally, this is one of my favorite pastel pieces. The perspective and the boldness of the mark making really makes it a strong piece for me. On the way out, I had one last look at a few sketchbooks that were displayed. I'll be honest, when it comes to drawing or keeping a sketchbook, I'm really bad at it, but I've always worked on separate pieces of paper rather than a book. But I always find it enjoyable to look at the sketchbooks and it was interesting to see all of the different styles and the imagery there was a lot of variation. So I hope you guys enjoyed my presentation of the show. As I said, I'm gonna be going out to more shows and doing this, so give me a little while to work out the kind of, the format and storytelling that I'm gonna kind of do it in. So I guess the first time doing something, it's always kind of like, okay, how do I structure this? How do I make this uh, beneficial? But please do leave feedback in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and as always, uh, oh, I almost dropped my phone. And as always, I wish you guys all the best, and um, here is my awkward goodbye. <laughs>